right, here comes FEC 105. It's about 3 o'clock Sunday. Very windy Sunday. And this will be southbound at Big Tree Road, mile post 112. <laughs> We got FEC 105 on the return trip north. Empty. There you go, short and sweet. Rail fan Rob over and out. All right, everybody, it's roughly 5 o'clock. Got FEC 105 returning northbound here at mile post 112. Big tree road crossing. I did not get it going south. Oh, it's light again. Yep, running light again. It's been a lot less busy here on the FEC main lately. I know I haven't done the FEC report in a little bit. But traffic is definitely slowing down on this line, or has slowed down, I should say, over the past uh, six months or so. Maybe a little less than that. All right, so we're all fan wrap over now. All right, everybody, it's 3 p.m. November 19th, 2023. Sunday, beautiful day, by the way. This may be my last FEC train in Florida, unfortunately. Circumstances arose where I, I guess I'm gonna be moving back to PA, more than likely. I don't want to go, but I guess I'll explain that at a later later date, which I've, I think I've kind of touched on it before, but this should be FNC uh, 105. This one will be going straight through. I think it's 105, I'm pretty sure. I'll find out though. seems to be going straight through now. It used to be a turn train back to Jacksonville. It would drop off at New Smyrna Beach. But there seems to be a different schedule going on here now over the past month, I'd say. And it seems to me that there's a lot more trains running again. 
like the schedule seems to be getting back to when I first started recording here, which is pretty cool, you know? More trains is good. This is all intermodal. Again, again, if this is not FEC 105, I will correct myself in the description. Because again, you know, with, with the changes that have happened recently in the scheduling on this railroad, it kind of threw me off a little bit because I haven't been recording lately. But traffic definitely seems to be picking up. I live a mile from here and I could hear the horns all the time. Pretty big train. Here we go. Do a little profile there. All right, there you go. This is um, Daytona Beach, by the way. Um, this is uh, the Bevel Road crossing right over there. Just down from the Daytona Beach Golf Club, which is straight up there, north. Anyway, if I continue to record here, you'll be the first to know. Rail fan Rob, over and out from Daytona Beach, Florida. Take care. All right, this is Rail fan Rob. I'm here at Daytona Beach Golf Club on a rainy Sunday. Actually, the rain just pulled in. I'm at Wilder Boulevard, mile post 111.38. Rain stop for for now. We have a southbound coming here. It's my first video in a little little while. I'm trying to get back into the groove, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Not sure what train this is because the scheduling seems to have changed now. So I'm going to have to research this one and see which one it is. And it will be in the description or the um, caption as the video starts to roll on YouTube. Here we go, though. Got some serious power on there, man. Right? starting to rain again. Yeah, like I said, there's been some changes on the line. The trains are running a little bit differently. Again, they seem to be running a little more frequently. Although, look at this, I'm seeing a lot of empties on here. Yeah, lots of empties there. I have to get them back down to port, load them up, and bring them back. Give you a southbound view here. That's Wilder Boulevard right there. That's looking south towards Bevel Road.
aside from all the empties, it is a decent sized train. There you go. Ralph and Rob over now from Daytona Beach Golf Club.